We need your support. Click the like buttons below. Now on to the video. Welcome to readtheticket.com. Today we're going to talk about Bitcoin and all the talk about Bitcoin and 100,000. We're going to talk about similarities between the uranium rally in 2007 to the Bitcoin rally in 2017 and what might some targets be going forward for the bulls. Let's talk about uranium first. Now this uranium bull run has some very similar aspects compared to the, to the Bitcoin rally. This is a free market. Buyers and sellers only sold what, what was available. There was no paper involved. No short selling. No uh, naked calls or anything like that. There wasn't even a futures market. So the demands were strong. People just purchased, purchased and purchased. There was no supply, no selling and price went up. And eventually price was capped because they started the futures market right on the peak here and then the prices came back. So they contained the price by creating a futures market. Now we're going to look at Bitcoin on a GAN angle price chart. Once again, the big rally we had here, there was no futures market started until where my cursor is, is right here. Okay, so people were just buying, buying, buying. There was no, the demand was, I mean, the demand was strong, no supply, and it just bitted it up. Okay, now, now we understand the nature of the last rally, we have to understand the GAN angle chart. Here we have a chart of time to price, where time, time equals one unit of price. So that is one, u one unit of time, one unit of price in pixels. Now if I put a, a, uh, a 45 degree line in the corner there, the 45 degree line will run straight up to the corner on the other chart, so it's a square. So this overall chart measures time to price. If price is moving above the 45 degree line, that means you be get, could be getting two units of price to one unit of time. If price is underneath the 45 degree line, which is the black line, that means you'll be getting um, two units of time to one unit of price, or whatever the ratio might be. So it's slower down here and faster up here. Now, the reason why it's so small down here, there's the Bitcoin price is small in the corner, is because I want to project to $100,000 Bitcoin. There's 100000 up there. And by the way, we're using uh, Bitcoin on US dollar. It's a daily trading. It's a GAN angle chart. Now, let's use what's used before. This is the, the price peak down here of around about $1,000 just before Mount Gox. And you put a, uh, you put a 45 degree line on that, as we did. I'll just do a dummy one here. Right. 45 degree line. It forecast quite well the top. And it also forecasts the intermediate um, pauses along the way. I'll just magnify that. I, I'm talking about intermediate support and resistance zones. So if I put, the, put a uh, gain angle like that on top of a previous high, it helps me forecast where the targets might be for resistance. Because when you're going into a new high, there are no resistance level. It's time and price. So here, price was smashing up these lines here. Excuse me. See how it paused there, pulled back, smashed up, paused there, pulled, went straight through and paused up there. Now, this, this rally here was around $200. It went up to $20,000. That is a, you know, give or take, let's say 100 times, 100 times price. Now, as you can see, price action is enveloped and the three GAN angle lines, dotted grey lines have we here from this high here. See how it's fitting quite well? Up there, down there, up there, and I suspect we'll go down to about here, which is about 5,000 I would think. I'll just draw my little line there. Yeah, four to four, you know, just under five. I suspect we'll be enveloped in there. The reason why I say that is, let's assume um, there's more bearish news, the US dollar goes up, smashing the bulls and the Bitcoin just for a bit. And, and we'll know a bull trend's on the way when it breaks that downward GAN angle. It's a 45 degree line down there. So, someone says to you on the YouTube channel or wherever you're listening, oh, 
Bitcoin's going to 100,000 in, you know, in a, in a year or three. Yeah, really? Okay, so if we take the speed of what happened last time, here was four years from that high there to that high there, four years. Here's the next four years. Here's our 45 degree line. If we shoot up here, that's... Yeah, um, so the, the, the really, really started after the you know second year mark. So let's say about here is the second year mark, which I suppose might coincide with the halving. So it's going to go from here all the way up to 100,000, which is there. And more importantly, the 45 degree line is. I'll just shrink the chart because we can't see anything, can we? The 45 degree line says 30,000. Is going to be a real challenge because when price advances into new ground, so here it's breaking. This is where it's breaking into new ground, quite frankly. I'll put clear all that up. It's going to go through these resistant gain angles, and it's highly expected to run out of juice here. Okay. So that would be if we went to five thousand up to thirty thousand. What's that? Six times. Let's just do my A. But that's one thirty-eight percent on the um, on the Fibonacci. So, I, quite frankly, that is way more realistic than a hundred thousand by twenty twenty-two or what have you. Now, if you really want to get to a hundred thousand, it might you'll be looking at twenty forty. I'll just shrink this down a bit more. There's a hundred thousand there, ninety-two thousand, twenty forty-five. Based on the time and price advancement. Now I think five thousand times a hundred is holy shit, five hundred thousand. So I, you know, I just I can't see a hundred thousand if we ever got a crazy bullish rally. Um, beyond that, there have to be a lot of money chasing Bitcoin, like trillions. Anyway. So, to be positive, expect a consolidation around here. If we are li lucky enough to get a massive rally, that's where your rally may perform, if it performs in the same manner as it did in 2017. Taking into account 2017, like, like the Iranian market, was not frustrated by naked shorts, futures market, margins on the futures market, um, things like that. So institutional money isn't going to come in and buy Bitcoin straight up due to the um, custodial issues. I know if, um, there are a few firms doing custodial issues out there, but I don't know if it's going to be that confident to really rush in that much. There's no reason why we can't get a rally to 30,000, 40,000. Now, if we have a look at Bitcoin at a lower level, it's the 100,000 discussion. And go to what the current chart is telling us. Right, so here's the close up, here's a bit more of a close up of Bitcoin here, because the before. From the previous high, I forecasted the current high, and it went through there, and it's consolidating in the grey areas, in the grey bar, the grey bars. So the grey, not grey bars, the grey lines. So these ones here, okay. See, so yeah, that's nicely compatting there. So when you, for example, I drew a Again, angle from this point here, which is the first major uh, pivot or pivot point after the impulse of, of the advance here. You can draw, you can test out where the best ones come from, but you find that after the first impulse, this is like wave two on an Elliott wave. You know, they, they tend to be the best pivots. Like for example here, there's the low, wave one, wave two, the gain angle tends to work best from there. We haven't got a wave two here, so I've got a gain angle there. So if it comes down and do another rally, I'll, put, I'll move the angle up. So the, the, the wave 2, which is a retracement of a wave 1 in the alley wave type theory, is a good, good location to put your gain angle on. And if, as you can see here, it showed the break here was quite something, and it went down here and consolidated there on this line here, as well as that line there. Which basically implies this is very, very strong support down there. Double gain angle, around 5,000, if it does uh, fall back down here. <coughs> Excuse me. 
normally uh, a price action at a GAN angle, price moves between the upper blue line, which is two units of price to one unit of time, and the slower blue line, which is two units of time to one unit of price. The red line is, of course, one unit of time to one unit of price. And it's always great to have an investment or something something moving when you you wait six months for something, but actually price is actually moving at two units of price relative one unit of time. So those the trends which are caught on this angle line here are very rewarding because you're getting two units of price for one unit of time. It's brilliant. Just clear that up. So what what's going on right now is that we've fallen back here. We bounced off this one, this gain angle here, the brown one. And we plunge down on the, um, you know, the virus news, the risk off market, because obviously when the stock market goes down, it tends to affect um, the Bitcoin, because it's relative to the dollar. If dollar goes up, risk off, risk off turns on. So what, what I'm waiting for is to see how the red line, the red data, bounces around the purple gain angle. Here's the purple gain angle. This is a typical retracement. I wanted to see how it moves around here. My bet it's going to fail about there. So I'm saying, okay, here's price now. I'm expecting around there about mid mid year for it to fail. All right. So mid year. Why would mid year be important? Well, mid year if Trump takes the um, the country back to work and a second wave of this virus, or maybe the fundamentals from the lockdown are, are so, so bad, we actually get another. Um, sell off and, and risk on and it just plummets down here so that's normally a critical time is when it approaches that um, this line is actually what you call that is a two to one that is two times price one unit of time but it's going down so that's moving very fast on the downward right so here this this line here is actually four to one so it's going down four four units of price to one unit of time so it's very rapid this is two units of price one unit of time going down this is obviously one to one so the use GAN angles it tells you to if you want to get long, you really have to wait until the the GAN, so the price, actually starts defeating the speed relative to time. You want price to start to slow down going down. You want to see a move through these GAN angles, you want to find support, and it starts moving up. Okay? And obviously the big red line is pretty important because that is resistance based off the high. There. Okay, so as I said before. Getting a breakout to 100,000 would have to be something pretty, pretty special. If it's not to get it done under 10 years, or under 20 years, quite frankly. A breakout to above the previous high on the on the uh, Bitcoin to, you know, 30, 34,000 is on the table. If it attracts that sort of money, that sort of liquidity, that would have to be something special, pretty special on its own. So... If I was really conservative on my breakout, I would suggest that something along these targets here. So I would suggest, say, two years from now. Where's my wire? Where's my round there? That's pretty. Seventeen to twenty thousand in two years would be conservative, if we are bullish. If it goes down there, the risk, the stock market's done, all the selling's done. We found a bottom. Risk on comes back in. You know, the Fed's printing crazy. Gold's going up. Bitcoin starts to get the rally, and it takes off from five thousand. It goes all the way up to twenty thousand, which is four times your money. That is an attractive move, obviously. Every investor will be looking at that. But going from 5,000 to 100,000 in the same time frame, well, that's be something pretty special. This was pretty special. Conditions are right. The, um, the resistance to get it, the supply, there's no futures. It was just buying and no selling. That's what that was. People were just buying, buying, and very, very little selling. Okay? So, unfortunately, with this market, the futures market are active. So, I, I'm... You have to be a bit, um, a bit more conservative. Gain angles are a great way to look at a chart. It's uncanny how they work and how they encapsulate price action. For example, see how these dotted lines are capturing that? So it gives you another clue. 
throw in your cycles, throw in your channels, throw in your fundamentals to get an idea how price and time work together. Thanks for watching.